And more breaking news tonight. It took more than 30 hours to untangle the Kennedy Boulevard Bridge from a giant drill rig working on the Riverwalk. But finally, the rig is free. Let's go right to News Channel 8's Steve Andrews with an update on the bridge. Steve? Hey, good afternoon, Gail. A little after 3 this afternoon, a 225-ton crane hoisted that yellow 75-ton drill rig off a barge out of a sunken tugboat and freed it from the bridge. The giant crane did not arrive on scene until after 10 this morning. By late afternoon, it lifted the rig from its precarious position. We uh, just recently uh, picked up the drill rig. We're able to put it on the barge that we brought in this morning. The drawbridge remained up, paralyzed with a 75-ton rig, hanging on it like a Christmas tree ornament. As it passed beneath the bridge Monday, it got too close. A loop in the cable from the rig's boom got caught on what looks like a tooth. The rig pulled from its barge onto a tugboat, which went to the bottom. The day-long effort to untangle this mess attracted a large crowd. Well, trying to figure out in my head how I think they're going to do it, and then finding out how they actually do it and how close do I really get. Brad Baird says it was a great team effort that got this job done. No word yet on what that effort will cost. And what remains to be done, the city is in the process of refloating that red tugboat and removing it from beneath the bridge. The next step will be to refloat around that, turn this barge around and then move it out of here and get it out of the bridge, uh, bridge's way as well. Now, the big question at this point is when is this bridge going to be reopened to traffic? The inspection by the Department of uh, Transportation is already underway from what we understand. Yeah. Uh, let's hope they can wrap that up pretty quickly because it pretty it makes things pretty difficult if you're trying to go in or out of downtown Tampa. All right, sure. Steve. Thank you. Steve Andrews reporting tonight.